Hi folks, how are you all doing? This is a dragon head. I draw these kind of things quite a lot for clients and for, I draw a couple of them on YouTube. You know, it's nice, it's easy, this is Photoshop. You turn on the symmetry tool and you just got to work. This is one I've done before. Here's another, here's another one that I've done and here's one for a client that I've done as well. Yeah, I've drawn these quite a lot before. They're nice, they're fairly straightforward. You turn on the symmetry tool in which Ever application that you are using you know sketchable that I use quite a lot has one Photoshop here has recently added one most applications that you are using has one and they're great to use so if you see like a lot of uh, animals or faces drawn straight on chances are they probably used a symmetry tool you can see I've quickly gotten straight into the meat of this dragon head because I'm using the symmetry tool. So you're basically doing something in half the time and you're making sure that all the features are pretty, you know, straight on. As long as you keep turning that symmetry tool off now and again and doing a few details without the symmetry tool, you just help make sure that it doesn't look kind of too, you know, symmetrical, which is a good thing. I recently had a problem where somebody stole one of these dragon heads, tried claiming it was their own, kind of refused to admit that it was my illustration. Even when the client called their bluff on it, they actually told their client that uh, they'd had problems with me in the past and uh, told them they'd sent a cease and desist order to me, hand delivered by the sheriff. I'm so excited about that. I'm still waiting to meet a sheriff in real life. You know, I've never met one. So, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take this guy to court. Anyway, you can see how far ahead this dragon head is moving now. And we are getting quite into it. But the great thing about working this way, working symmetrically, is that you can change your mind about anything you're working on because this is obviously just a sketch, especially at this early stage. But say the horns on this variation are pointing upwards. If you wanted curved horns, twisted horns, horns that point downwards, then you can do that. You can change that quite easily and you only have to draw one. The thing that is hardest on these kind of dragon heads is that, you know, if you want matching horns, then yeah, it's a bit awkward. Um, to get both of those horns perfectly matching. But with this, you know, quite easy to do. And if you want to change the horns, then you only have to change one. If you want to add additional horns, then you don't have to match the positions. You've seen me just add an extra horn there and another one there and change a horn, change the eyes. Perfectly easy to do that. And you can just experiment. And if something doesn't work out, just rub one out and it rubs the other one out. If you want to add a horn on one side but not the other, just turn off the symmetry tool for a second. And that's the absolutely greatest thing about working like this. And as for plates and panels, either turn on the symmetry tool or don't. Now, I like to work in black and white when I'm doing this. And then at this point, I will add in color. Now, it might only be a really light color like this yellow tone at first. I can change that tone, change it to a pink, change it to a red, change it to a green. I'll experiment completely with colors and tones just to find something right. It doesn't even have to be right at this point. It can just be a shading tone so that I can go in and decide where my highlights are. And this might just help me make the dragon a little more three dimensional, you know? If you're a free d artist, then you'll appreciate that, that you want this to be, to feel a little more sculpted, you know, in a way. I also want to be able to add on certain things like the glow of the eyes. And I could do that with um, purely a, a kind of black and white illustration as well. But there's something about just having these bright colors. And especially with a dragon's head, I know ultimately I'm going to end up doing this in color. So it really helps there as well. Let me know what you think about that. Is that something that works for you? Is that some way you could work? Now, this is a head that you could take from here. Obviously, I've worked on layers, so I could take this head and transpose it onto a full body. I could 
rotate this, put some, you know, put a neck on this, put a body on this, add some wings. I could just add a background onto this. This could be a logo design, bit of a weird one, but you know, I could turn this into anything. And that's the good idea about this. I have actually done a dragon head as a logo before for um, a company in America. And, you know, it works out to, you could do a more graphically styled one. You see there where it just went um, black with the glow for a second. Works really well. However, this being a sketch, I'm not going to take it really that far. A good way to think about this is that I may be designing a dragon head for uh, a book cover or for a concept piece so I'm going to actually churn out about five maybe ten maybe twenty different dragon heads for something else that I'm working on so I create lots of different variations with different horns lots of different designs so this is more of a design process for something bigger so I want to be quick and I want to churn this out this one takes about an hour you know, maybe under an hour, maybe three quarters of an hour. And yeah, I'm just working through and coming up with lots and lots of different designs. I can knock these out even faster, but, you know, I, I'm just taking my time here and, and trying to come up with something that I actually like. I've already got a load of these. So it, it gets tough after a while to kind of come up with something that's a little bit different and that I like and that I'm not just rushing them out and playing them by the numbers. But you can take this idea... And you can do it with character heads, you can do it with, you know, lions, tigers, any animal. And it works really, really well. You know, if you're working on zombies, monsters, whatever, it works really, really well. I'm happy with this at that stage, you know, retouching, I could do color variations, anything. But basically for me, it's pretty much there. I'll just change some contrast, add some tones, but yeah, I am 100% happy. What do you think about this? Does it work for you as a process? Do you like how this is done? I've been doing this on the XP Pen tablet and it's actually really worked for me. I've got a full review about this tablet if you want to go and check that out. Let me know what you guys think. You can tweet me about this. You can hit like. I would absolutely love that. That really, really helps me. You can hit subscribe. That would definitely help me as well. As long as you click the little bell and, you know, set the reminders about that because I know a lot of people are not getting reminders when I put out a new video and I have been putting out a lot of new videos lately. As always, stay wonderful, keep being creative and I shall see you guys very, very soon.